the Brothers of Liberty, here to remind you what true freedom is. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Brothers of Liberty with the older brother Kelton. Always here to remind you what true freedom is. Now, if uh, people haven't heard last week, uh, the OSHA has came out with a 500-page rules of the vaccine mandate that's supposed to take effect on J January 4th. Uh, you heard that correctly, uh, after Christmas. I guess they think that's not going to backlog anything or make supply chain worse. Actually, it will after Christmas because uh, a lot of people return gifts, everything else. It's going to be a big mess, but who cares? That's what they want, to destroy this country and take away your freedom. Um, now, the I got some notes here. Uh, if there's no vaccination, it's going to be there. Have the employees test weekly. It's going to affect people, employers with over 100 employees. Well, that's the start. I guarantee it's going to trickle down to small mom and pops and everybody else to the point where we don't even care if you're working from home. You got to take the vaccine. Because this government loves to do overreach and loves to take away freedom of choice away. Unless, of course, it's abortion. You can kill, murder a baby, but you can't uh, t uh, ignore a vaccine. Gotta love their reasoning, right? Um, this is a very unconstitutional and very drastic overreach of the federal government. And they know it's an overreach because the White House is trying to call it a workplace requirement safety measure and not a vaccine mandate. Doesn't matter what you call it. Like someone said, you polish a turd, it's still a turd. Um, same thing with the 500 page. DeSantis called it government bureaucracy. I'm calling it BS. Um, now, the federal government themselves are largely going to rely on companies to self-enforce it because they don't have, they know they don't have the authority and they know they don't have the personnel. Um, and they're also waiting for, they want people to, they say it's largely going to be employees who call about against their bosses or their fellow employees. So if you're, if you're, if your uh, company gets stranded out, then you'll know who would have turned into Jews in Nazi Germany. Did I say that? Yes, I did. Because it's the same thing. People who don't want freedom, who do not love freedom. Um, I'm not saying I'm an anti-vaxxer. I'm just saying I'm anti-mandate. There's a difference. Um, and if you say, oh, look at the science. Yes, let's look at the science. Because throughout history, and try to prove me wrong, when missionaries get vaccinated and military gets vaccinated to go through these countries, do they bring back any diseases with them? No, it just affects the people who are unvaccinated. So you can't say it affects the vaccinated. There's been proof in Massachusetts where they said the vaccinated people can spread it just as easily as unvaccinated. Studies in Israel. And you don't want to look at those studies because it's not the narrative. Instead, you want to say misinformation. It's not. The CDC has it on record. Look it up. Um, but this has nothing to do with that. This has to do with the mandates which are unconstitutional. Um, the fines could be $13,000 for the first violation, 10 times as much for willful or repeated violations. Um, according to Business Insider now, 27 states has lawsuits against the federal government. That's right, against these mandates. And do you know that three of them are have Democrat governors? Kentucky, Louisiana, and Kansas. All are part of those lawsuits. In fact, the governor of Kansas last week just said that it's not correct and it's not going to produce results. And that came from a Democrat people. Um, now, she might be saying that because it's a, she has an election in 2022. But Louisiana and Kentucky, their elections are not till 2023, which means this will be all blown over by that time, at least hopefully. So they're not, I don't even think they're really worried about being reelected at this point. Because they know it's unconstitutional. And they know it's going to hurt the people in their states. But the government doesn't care. If you cared, you would stop the all the immigrants coming over and force them to get vaccines. But you won't. Instead, you want to give them uh, $450,000 per person if uh, they were separated in the past several years from their families. Um, but you don't want to get them forced vaccinated. But you want to give them a whole bunch of money. That could get them to buy a house and everything. But who cares about if they're vaccinated? Just saying it like I see it. Um, now, if everybody's wondering what states uh, 
they have. Uh, now, the Fifth Circuit Court last week did put a block on the mandates, a temporary block. However, a couple hours ago, the White House is telling the businesses to ignore a court order. Yes, you heard that right. They're telling businesses to break the law and ignore the court order and to do the vaccine mandates anyway. This is the government that is supposed to be representing the people and law and is saying to ignore the law. You're telling me this is not unconstitutional or overreach? This is what China and Russia would do, which if you paid attention October 6th, Biden thinks that's the way to go because democracy is not good for the 21st century because you need to do things like this. And in a democracy, you can't do that. So, yes, our freedoms are being taken away slowly. They're actually outright doing it now and people still support him. At least 38 percent of people. Go to China if you want that kind of dictatorship, not here. But anyway. This is the states that um, are opposing it. Um, Indiana has a separate lawsuit from the circuits with Mississippi and Louisiana. But in the, when you go through the circuit courts of appeals and petition, you got in the eighth circuit court, you got Missouri, Arizona, Nebraska, Montana, Arkansas, Iowa, North Dakota, South Dakota, Alaska, New Hampshire, and Wyoming. In the sixth court, circuit court, you have Kentucky, Idaho, Kansas. Ohio, Oklahoma, Tennessee, and West Virginia. In the Fifth Circuit Court, that the one that blocked it, you got Texas, Louisiana, South Carolina, Utah, and Mississippi. And in the Eleventh Court, you have Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Florida also did a solo case with the U.S. Court in Tampa. Um, now, two Republican states are not involved in the lawsuit, which I'm actually not surprised. Um, well, Republican governors anyway. Uh, one Republican governor is out of Vermont. And there are Bernie Sanders up there, so you know they're going to kiss government butt. And then you have Maryland, which is also another Republican who kissed Democrat butt because even the Republicans in Western Maryland wants to join West Virginia. And so that should say a lot about that governor. Um, but these, I mean, you have the employees that's going to turn in people if they're not doing, following the government mandates. Sound like 1930s to me? Oh, if you're, you know, I, we can see who would have turned into Jews now um, because they so trust their government. Um, but a lot of people don't realize that once he did the vaccine mandate, and I'm sorry, it's a mandate, not a work requirement. Um, either way, it's still a turd. You got Black Lives Matter, union people. A lot of these people that supported Biden are now marching hand to hand with Trump supporters who also think there should be no mandates. You, L.A. has protests outside their city. The city took effect on vaccine passports and stuff today. And you have them thousands protesting outside City Hall. Trash is not being picked up in New York. Trash was piling up because they were protesting, protesting on times. The newly elected mayor of New York got a whole bunch of protesters in his face after his after he won. Um, so this is not dying down anytime soon. There'll be a lot of people who get fired and quit their job and there'll be multiple lawsuits. To the point where it can hurt this country. But I think that's what the Democrats want to do. They don't care. They want to spend a whole bunch of money. Um, and everything else. And it's being shown. And this past election was proof. That the voters don't want it. In Nassau County, New York, at least three Republicans won that the, the elections they were in. And this county has a hundred thousand more Democrat voters than Republicans, but yet three Republicans won. Now think about that. Virginia won a truck driver, even though the state senators tried to say, oh, there's uncounted ballots that were found after a hundred percent was pulling in. They Found ballots. Yeah, I know how they found the ballots and so does everybody else. And I think an audit should be done. Because that's BS. Because he didn't want to lose to a truck driver who only spent five to $10,000 when he spent $500,000 on the election campaign. This is what's coming. School city council completely turned Republican. School board members got ousted, has been there for a long time to other school board members. 
The people are getting tired of it, and we're taking a stand now. And we're coming in a wave, whether you like it or not. And our voices will get louder, not softer. We will no longer be the silent majority. I mean, you're threatening our jobs anyway. So let's see what, and we are the people that worked during the pandemic, where everyone else sat and collected a check. And now you're saying, oh, now if you're not vaccinated, don't bother coming to work. Well, guess what? As always, you're trying to collect money for the bigger corporations. And you know what? It's going to fail. And that's just my opinion on it. What's your opinion? Like, share, comment. Like I said, I have a, we have a YouTube here. We have a Rumble. I'm pretty sure YouTube might take some of my videos. They will still be on Rumble. And to YouTube, who cares? I have more followers on Rumble anyway. Um, and they don't wait, cause you to wait to get so many subscriptions or views to collect money. And the more popular I get, advertisers will take care of that anyway. But I'm not in this for the money. I'm in this for me and my brother are in this to have a to let people know that there's a voice that will speak out for them. And you know what? We're always here to remind you what true freedom is. That's why we're called the Brothers of Liberty. And um, if you have a topic you want to discuss with us, Brothers of Liberty 76 at gmail.com. Uh, we'll have the link in the description, the email, and the Business Insider link if you want to read more about the states that have uh, formally filed a lawsuit against the United States government because it's a unconstitutional mandate, and that's what it is. Um, but other than that, I am the older brother of liberty, and I'm always here to remind you what true freedom is and ought to be.